Welcome to PDF Studio 9. Today I'm going to be introducing you to the basics of our new form field editor tool as well as the most common types of forms that you'll be able to add to your PDFs. Let's start by opening up a document you wish to add fields to. This can be either a Word document you convert to PDF or an existing document you already have. I'm going to use a PDF document that I already have created. Once you have your document open, you'll need to click on Forms, Create Edit Forms to open up the Form Fields toolbar. Here you'll see many options available, including text boxes, check boxes, list boxes, and even signatures. I'm going to start by adding text fields to my document. I'm going to click on the text field icon and place the field where I want it, resize it to fit the field, and then double click to open up the properties menu, where I can set the field name, I can choose a font if I want, as well as select set as default which will allow me to use this setting for all other fields going forward. Now I'm going to go ahead and add the rest of the fields to the document, including street, city, and zip code. When adding more fields, you can copy and paste them to make placing multiple fields easier and faster. Now I've finished placing all the text boxes that I need, and I've decided that I want to use a drop-down menu for the state instead. To add a drop-down menu, click on the combo box field, place it where you need, and resize it to fit, then double-click on it to open up the properties menu where you'll set the name for the combo box, and then click on the Options tab. Here you'll add all the items for the drop-down by clicking Enter or pressing the Add button. When you're done, you can select on Sort Items to sort them alphabetically if you would like, and then press OK to close the Properties window. Next, I want to add some checkboxes so that the user can select their options. Click on the checkbox icon and place the checkboxes wherever you need in the document. Again, copy and paste can make this easier for you if you have a lot of checkboxes to place. Now that I've placed all the checkboxes on the document, some of my checkboxes aren't aligned. I'm going to use the alignment tool on the top bar to line up the checkboxes and make them look more neat. Now that the checkboxes are done, the last thing I want to add is a signature field, so it can be signed electronically. To add a signature field, click on the signature icon at the top, and place the signature field where you need it. Then resize the box to fit the area that you need. On the left hand side of the screen you'll see the fields pane that will show all the fields you've added to the document. If you'd like to rearrange the tabbing order of any of the fields, just click on the field and drag it to the where you want it. Now that we've created all the fields we need, click on stop form editing and the document's ready to go. The user can now use the fields that you created to complete the document and even sign it electronically to send back to you. I've just gone over only a small portion of what is possible with the new form field editor tool in PDF Studio 9. I hope you enjoy this new tool, and for additional information on form fields, be sure to check out our online knowledge base at kbpdfstudio.copa.com.